There was a time for the, for the sake of uh, identifying this, somebody asked me, would ask me where I'm from, and I said, Give up. But then afterwards, I began to change. You see, Kevali is known right across the island. Eh? Wherever you go, especially among all the people, Kevali is known. But Clarksville is not known. And yet, as far as I'm concerned, and especially because of our Baptist history, Clarksville is far more important than Kevali. Mm -hmm. Right? So I began to change. So when people ask me where I'm from, I say Clarksville. And you know the next question that comes from that. Where is that? <laughs> right? So I, I get a little privilege to tell them something about Clarksville. But I still have that to say. Especially since my year is here, I have discovered that there have been some outstanding men and women who have come from this area. And there is no joke about that. The school down under the cellar there, as they call it, that school has turned out some outstanding scholars. And um, we, we really have a good heritage as a people from Clarksville. Got independence in 1962. It was uh, decided to remove from our calendar the first of mm -hmm. August holiday, uh, which I don't know the the thinkers at the time didn't consider carefully how important um, emancipation was to us so after some time there was a rethinking that this holiday is important important because of the uh, emancipation is is important yes yes and so there was a survey done and it was found that most Jamaicans then would rather have that holiday back mm. so that we could focus more on emancipation. So in, in the year 2000, we decided, you know, to celebrate that 1st of August. And I will come back to that 1st of August because the, the Clarksonville Baptist Church was born out of the emancipation. Mm -hmm. And so that history is important to us. So we decided to uh, place this welcome sign to Clarksonville. We, we, did, we can't tell you exactly where Clarksonville began, mm -hmm. but we think that this is a strategic point that we could roughly say um, Clarksonville <laughs> Clarksonville is <laughs> Clarksonville begins so we erected this sign here yeah so this this we did and that plate that is there with the writing it's it's, it's an actual statement from the one of the minute books of the Clarksonville Baptist Church dating back to January 3, 1895 and it reads that is with regard to Clarksonville Baptist Church this church and indeed the whole district owes a great deal to the practical benevolence 
of the late Reverend John Clark. For in the days happily pass away, when it is often almost impossible for a black man to buy a piece of land because of the hostility of the planters, he, Mr. Clark, bought a property in this district called Castleton, divided it into allotments and sold them to the people, naming the village thus created Clarksonville after the celebrated Mr. Clarkson, one of the pioneers of freedom. That's a statement from the Clarksonville Minutes book. So we felt that because of the importance of the village as a free village, we should identify it. So there is one sign on this south side and there is another sign on the north side, similar to this, to welcome folks to Clarksonville. There was a time when I would say to people when I go places and they ask me where I'm from, I tell them that I'm from Cave Valley. But because I want to highlight Clarksonville, and certainly Cave Valley is known almost everywhere throughout the island. But now I purposely say I'm from Clarksonville because when I say I'm from Clarksonville, the next question is, where is that? <laughs> <laughs> so I get to tell them something about Clarksonville, which is an important uh, place in our, in our history, you know. Uh, free village. Yeah. So explain the, the free village concept. The free village concept is the fact that um, or, well, these, in these parts, the, the Baptist missionaries were the ones that were involved in the fight against slavery, all right? Now, this was their concentration before emancipation. And uh, somehow there was a, a little short-sightedness there because while they were um, fighting for the freedom of the slaves, they didn't take into consideration that when these slaves are freed, they have nowhere to go. <laughs> you know, they had no holding because they were taken straight from Africa to the plantations. And this was where they had home. This was where they had their, their life altogether. So it was, in fact, at Brownstone, the, the Baptist church at Brownstone, where um, this man that is mentioned here, this minister, the Reverend um, John Clark, uh, this was where he was stationed. And so on the, on the night of emancipation, of course, uh, when it turned 1st of August, 1838, the, the freed people now were gathered because this was now something, this was law from England, you know, that all these slaves should be made free. But of course, made free, but they had nowhere to go. So the only friends that they knew were the, the, the Baptist missionary. <laughs> and so they, they found themselves on the church premises, in the churchyard in, um, in Brownstone. And it was then that um, the, the ministers realized that their job wasn't finished. They had to find places for these people to, to settle. And so these villages were, were bought and in the in the Sentan area actually there were of course starting at Brownstone there is one village called Wilberforce and of course this is from William Wilberforce who was a parliamentarian in England and then Boxon uh, which is on the on the east side of Brownstone in fact it's now divided into upper and lower Boxon and then coming further south, we come to Bethany. Bethany, where, of course, there's another Baptist church that was planted in that area in those days. And then from Bethany further south, now we are in Clarksonville. And so 
in each of these villages, except of course the ones in near, nearest to Brownstone, because Brownstone already had a church. But in all these villages that were um, established as free villages, a Baptist church was planted there. And so this was how the church at Clarksonville was planted. Now when we get to the church, I will show you uh, a map, a survey map of the village of Clarksonville. And also important is this um, Castleton, that um, the village was first called Castleton. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we go back, you, you will find there's significance to, to where they had the, the wake and the, and the repass, you know, for, mm -hmm. uh, for Trevor. Trevor. Yeah, because that is the actual area mm -hmm. where the plantation was. Mm. Yeah, which mm -hmm. was called Castleton. And that house that is there is, is a historical place. Yes, it is. Because that was part of the Castleton plantation and mm -hmm. um, the house, it was later inherited, I understand, by the blacks. So they occupied that place for quite a long time. When I came here, it was already in shambles, but it's still being, being occupied by, by some. I have, I have seen, and I, of course, my first knowledge of Free Village was Clarksville. Mm -hmm. I had known, of course, about Sligoville, because Sligoville is seen as the first Free Village in Jamaica, right? And, um, but one thing I have noticed about all these Free Villages is that they are hilly, very, very stony places. By the way, as I say stony places, I left out one of the most important of the Free Villages in St. Anne and that is Sturge Town, which is, of course, uh, on, the, on the northeast side of Brownstone. But that Sturge Town is important because, in actual fact, the, the, the money that was secured to buy the free villages, to buy out these areas, that money was actually borrowed by... Um, by the missionaries from another Englishman called Mr. Sturge. Ooh. Yeah, Mr. Sturge was the one that they borrowed the money from to establish these three villages. So that village now on the northeast side of Brownstone is, um, is named after him. Yeah. So all the, all the three villages, um, you know, like we say, Clarksonville is named after Thomas Clarkson. And then there is Wilberforce, William Wilberforce, the parliamentarian, who was in the forefront, you know, of the, for the fight. Then there is Boxner, I don't know exactly what their surname was, but I, I recall walking in the parliament um, grounds of, um, of London, England. Yes, when I was there in 19, uh, 1994, I believe that was. Yes, I think 1994 and uh, just walking around and stumbled upon a plaque that was placed and dedicated to the memory of men like Wilberforce, Boxen, mm. Clarkson, you know, these men who had championed the cause for the, for the freedom of slaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was quite a, <laughs> a, a moment in my life, you know, <laughs> just to see that, knowing, you know, all this yep. time I was still beginning to look at the history, you know, familiarizing myself with the history and to, to come up with these names of these people, you know, it was something quite um, very interesting to me, you know, yeah. But the rocky, the rockiness about the... Yeah, but the, the, back to that, yes, mm -hmm. the, the, the hilly terrain, the, you know, very, very stony places. Um, all these three villages are such, and I remembered it when I spoke about Sturge Town, because of all of them that I have seen, there is none that is more stony than Sturge Town. And yet, you know, it's a very fruitful, fertile area. And uh, to me, as I have looked at these, these things, certainly the, 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 the planters then would not allow the, the missionaries to get the lands that were more useful to them 
But I believe also it was with a view to have these slaves, these freed people then, you know, um, prostrate themselves because they could not think that they could carve out a living out of these mm -hmm. stones. So they might go back on the plantation. They would go right back to the plantation. So they would have them as slaves all over again. Mm. But instead of that, these people with a determination and a will to survive and an ambition that is something that we need to have in these days, they determined that they were not going to go back to the plantation. They were not going to go back to their owners, uh, to their masters. And so they, they carved out their living from, the, from these stones. Um, way into the woods, into the crown lands, they went and they worked hard. And I, I, I speak about something like this with a certain amount of emotion because I believe especially in these days our, our young people are not fulfilling the purpose for which we were, you know, we were, our forefathers were, were set free because they are thinking that somebody owed them something. And so we, we were just coming um, today, that gentleman that I just dropped off a while ago, we were passing in and town and we were talking about how it is that there's a certain spot there that the, the, the young men go to bed sitting on the wayside. They wake up in the morning as early as you can pass there. They are sitting there on the wayside. And, and this is no way to, to live in memory of our forefathers who have worked hard and toiled to bequeath to us now what we have. You know, we were talking about, um, you know, trees and all that, and there is going to be a dearth for, for lumber in this area, mm -hmm. in the whole island, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Because people are, they are cutting down the cedars, the mahogonies, all the lumber trees, and yet nobody, not very many people are thinking of planting even one. Mm -hmm. Because they are saying that they are not going to live to see, mm. um, to, to reap it. No, we are reaping a lot that we didn't sow. Right. And so we should be sowing so that others can reap after us, you know. So these things, I, I get very, very emotional about them because I think we are, we are losing, we are losing it, we are losing it. Yeah. Another thing I notice, first of all, is that at, at least in the early days, mm -hmm. a lot of the houses were built up in the uh, lookout point. Well, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, probably they had the, the, the vision that we have now. Many people are are trying to go up to the hills, you know, <laughs> because <laughs> the view from up there is good. But one yeah. thing is true, is that um, in those days on the on the mountains, mm -hmm. uh, um, they would have would be more rocky. Yes. And so they would want to leave the, the, the better lands for farming. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. right now at Clarksonville, they, where the parsonage is situated is where on top of it's one of the highest peaks in the, in the area here. Mm -hmm. And um, it's quite stony up there, you know, but down on the hillside, you have a more, the better lands. Yes, yes, you know, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Castleton was uh, a coffee, a coffee plantation owned by an Englishman by the name of Thomas Kidd. So this was where the part of the residence was, and of course. Um, his, um, 
his main residence was somewhere in Trelawney, we don't know, because on the deed of sale, which you will see, it has that uh, he, he was a resident of Trelawney. Mm. Yeah. So this was, um, this is the area called Castleton. And, um, but this is just part of it now, of course. Oh, yes, you know. yes. But the house itself was, um, was called Castleton. And of course, that's just a, a part of the house. Mm -hmm. But because when I came here, there was still a veranda uh, um, attached to it mm -hmm. and all that. And but of course, that was like a back house. Yeah, that, this part of it was like yes, a back house, yes. yes. And, and there was a barbecue somewhere here too, wasn't there? I believe, yeah. Yeah, there was yes, a yes, barbecue. Yes, in front, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, that would be part of the area that they do the drying of the, of the coffee, mm. you know. But this, this, even now as it is owned by um, the new lands, mm -hmm. it's quite a, a, a large area of land, yes, isn't it? Yes, extend all the way. Yeah, back, back. into almost Campbell's land. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, as I said, Campbell's land, well, again, you will see this when you get to the church, but um, this Campbell's land was um, part of a, a property that was owned by a, a lady Campbell, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, these, <laughs> these are some of the areas that were, were given to some of these people from England for well, maybe something that they had done to please Her Majesty or His Majesty <laughs> in those days. So they would just give them large portions of mm -hmm. lands in mm -hmm. these colonies like Jamaica. Um, the, the one that we now know, people call it Penryn, but it's actually Penryn. Yes. Ah. P-E-N-H-R-Y-N. Uh, mm. That's how it's spelled. And, and that's that, somebody's name. That was somebody's name. Mm. So all that property from Touch Walk, going right back into the Andestone area, you know, mm -hmm. which um, was occupied by the the Lindos first, of course, and, and they, they, are of, they are of the Jewish family. Yes. The Lindos are mm -hmm. um, now owned by the... Um, the Carreras? Uh, Carreras? Yeah, well, not Carreras. It was after it was owned by the Carreras, oh. and then the Carreras sold it to this family that, that does coffee now. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, it's, it's owned by them now. Um, but all of that land was was the Penryn property. Mm -hmm. And again, it was just given to these people who had pleased Her Majesty in some way or the other. <laughs> and so they get a chunk of land, you know, mm -hmm. from, um, from the, the queen or from the king in those days. Uh, the, the lands that we know called crown lands, yes, these were lands that were owned by the, 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 at Her Majesty's pleasure or His Majesty's pleasure and um, they could be given to anybody that they wish to, to give to, you know. So these are, are things that sometimes we don't consider but they are important to our, to our history, you know. Yeah. Yes, so in so far as the coffee plantation is concerned, we are, we are not sure um, exactly what the border was, where the border was, where it began on the south side or where it ended on the north side. But we know the, the area that was bought out is documented on the deed of sale, how many um, acres there, there, there were. All right, let's go up to the church and we'll see a little more. Your, your own drawing conclusions from, from things that yes, you, yes. You, you see and hear, you know, you just 
come up with things. I have discovered that in some respects you can't you can't um, say that any aspect of history is is inaccurate <laughs> or, or, or or in some ways accurate until you have really really proved mm. by by documentation because a lot of oral history has come about passed down from family to family mm -hmm. and um, even so that in itself important as it is when it is documented that is when somebody sees it as 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 true. Yes, yes. You see, so because it is not written, sometimes mm -hmm. people pass it as, off yes, as, yes, as yes. you know. Here is it. True, true. But mm -hmm. the the real truth is that there's a lot of uh, oral history that we have that we take for granted mm. because it is not documented. Yes. And I, I say this because I have seen even in books of history uh, like mention made for instance of Clarkson Town mm. and uh, I'm sure that mention of Clarkson Town is with respect to to um, to Clarksonville, mm -hmm. yeah, and yet uh, when I see what an artist impression of Clarkson Town is, it was like <laughs> it has absolutely no resemblance of, of this Clarkson, <laughs> you see, so. History is made, and some people, you know, out of their own imagination, mm. um, bring up these things which um, cannot be substantiated, mm. you know. Yes, so we are in the premises of uh, the Clarksville Baptist Church. Uh, the area of land that was reserved for this for this building for the church premises which now houses the church buildings and the parsonage this area of land on the survey map um, and what we now have as registered with the with the government is 17 acres over 17 mm. acres of land mm -hmm. a lot of it is wooded and stony but um part of it is occupied of course by for the for the cemetery mm -hmm. where the dead you know are buried they it's it's free to every member of the church mm. as long as you are a member of the church and uh, wish to be buried on, in the church cemetery, you have that privilege. Over years, we have, you know, tried not to have it as a free for all, because though it's a large area, still the way people are dying. Yes. Uh, many years ago, I, I began to to sound the, the the note that we might come to the place where we don't have suitable spots, mm. and so we started to sell the the the, the spots the spot. to non-members uh because we we were trying to deter them mm. but still people are coming <laughs> because in actual fact there are some people who, who don't want to have dead buried on their own premises because it is held that once you have uh, a cemetery on your property it has lost its value, value yes. you know so they try not to bury on the 
on their own premises. Some genuinely don't have um, a suitable burial spot, and especially in these days because of the the local government um, strictures, they now require that you 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 have to go through a process mm -hmm. to have dead buried on your own premises. So because this is established already, we don't have that problem. So sometimes people take advantage of our situation here, you know. But that's how it is. All right, we're gonna go to the office and try and find some documentation. Yeah, that's all concrete. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is a larger part of Okay, there are two pieces of documents here. Uh, the one. Yeah, this is the one. Now, these documents, we got them, we got them preserved by the National Library. Okay. So when they did it, they gave us this paper okay. to keep it in because it, it's supposed to absorb the mic moisture. This is a plan of Caston Plantation and Clarksonville. So here then is, is the, the thing. So the Caston Plantation was bought, but that was not all. The Clarksonville area. So the plantation was part of the, became part of the Clarksonville area. Mm. So it says a, a plan of Caston Plantation and Clarksonville in the parish of St. Anne, County of Middlesex, Jamaica, surveyed by desire of the Reverend John Clark, July 18, or July 1839. And the surveyor was Richard Wilson, mm -hmm. surveyor, yeah. All right, all right, so <laughs> now it is bordered, of course, by um, the Arbutnot, the Arbutnot, they call it, it A-R-B-U-T-H-N-O-T, Arbutnot, which today we, we call Burnet. Uh, uh, Burnet, they say Burnet, okay? And then, this is uh, on this side, um, it is bordered by lands, uh, inherited lands inherited by in in 19 something or 18 something by Mrs. Uh, whatever Campbell. Mm -hmm. but so this is where now we call Campbell's land. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And then on this side it says lands um belonging to Lord Penryn. Okay. Yeah, it's the same man I was talking Penryn, about. Yes. P E N R H Y N. That's what so it's spelled. These days people say Penryn, mm -hmm. but it's um, actually Penryn. So this border would be where now? This border no. would be on the patch walk. Right. Okay. Because remember now, mm -hmm. Campbell's land. Right. Yeah. Yes. And so from Campbell's Land, mm -hmm. you go on to Touch Walk. Right. So that and property, and going side. right back, it seemed to me, because mm -hmm. the way it is set here, it would not just be just at the, in the square of Touch Walk. Right. It would go further in. Yes. Yes. And then come back out to the main, mm -hmm. uh, on the in and town side. Stretching right back to to Anderson Town, so all of so these. So Clarksville actually extended. So no, 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 no. 
Okay. And Clarksville would be now this area. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are the borders for Clarksville. Mm -hmm. So there is K Valley, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which is a different thing altogether. Yes. But this area now, that is, um, was the area that was allotted mm -hmm. to the to the free people. Mm -hmm. So if you focus, say for instance, on here, which is not too much destroyed, then you can see the, the numbers, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. All right, so like, the, the church, let's see now, come back, come over here, because the, the, the lots are cross-referenced with the names mm -hmm. of the individuals who, who were, mm -hmm. um, were yeah. give, well, who bought them. Mm -hmm. um, the, the church, the church, uh, let's see. Okay. Camera, camera, camera. I think the church was lot um, thirty something. But it, it's specifically stated in there that it was the land reserved for the for the chapel. Mm -hmm. However, whatever it is, mm -hmm. there is um, 157, yeah, 157 lots Lots. Oh. all together identified here. Some of them, um, we have, yeah, remaining unsold. Mm -hmm. So like these here from from like, like from 144 to one um, to one fifty six. These were, were yes, they yeah. were not owned. Well, you know, the first thing I I did when I found this mm. is to look if there was any hall. Mm. Of yeah. Yes. <laughs> and certainly there's a hall there. That's a B. Yeah. There was a hall there in the in the beginning. I don't remember exactly where, but I did find a hall in the in the whole thing. And actually the the the, the acreage was also identified here. Right? Um, so for instance they had acres and perches and whatever they had in those days. Mm -hmm. So they had the, the size of the lots on, on the extreme right side. Yeah. Here's something I want to show you. And this is why I talk about history. Mm -hmm. Now, to the ears of G R A V E S. Graves. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. Now, could it be that these are the same people who are called Greaves today? Could well be. But why? Mm. Could it be that there came somebody who didn't like that name? Graves. I changed it to Graves. And decided that instead of Graves, which is identified with the place where people are buried. Yes. And you know, so, so, so suspicious we are, right? Yeah. Yes. They inserted an E. Because that's all it takes. Yes. So it becomes G R E A V E S. These are the people we have today. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> there are no graves around here. I don't know about any graves. <laughs> no. There are graves. Lots of graves. <laughs> so, this, <laughs> so this is how history is made. Yes. As far as I'm concerned. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that these are the same people that we know today as graves. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I hope there's a Nash somewhere. A Nash? <laughs> a Nash. You, that was the, Nash the family name there. Family name, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretty sure I've come across that name somewhere. If not in this, mm -hmm. in, the, in the maze. Oh yeah, here's a James Hall. Yes. James oh, Hall. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But the halls of history, they, they've been here a long time. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and here's the graves. Mm -hmm. G-R-A-V-E-S. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Campbell. Yeah. Lee. White, yes, the white are common yes, name yes, there. Yes, yeah. yes, There's a war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Wilsons and all those. Mm -hmm. Howlett. Howlett, yes. Yeah, there, there, are number of, yeah, there are another so number of Howlett's there. Yeah, and Miss, Miss Lynn. Clear? Yes. Claire Lawrence. Okay. Her, 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 her grandmother Our grandmother is Howlett, eh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Higgins, yeah, mm -hmm. John Higgins. Yeah, we don't see any of the Nash. But... Yes, the Nash. I see Brown and my grandmother, my great grandmother, the Asher Brown. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I see Nash. Reed, yes, that's yes. a very common name in the Yes, area. in the area too. Mm -hmm. This is something. <laughs> Thank you.
office, which is Tana, which is the actual deed of sale for the property of Clarksville and Mm. All right, so now you see all of, all of this was okay. eaten yeah. out, okay. but this has been repaired. Mm -hmm. And the, the paper itself has been strengthened too mm. from the National Library, mm -hmm. so it is preserved in a better form. Okay, so this is the, the deed of sale for the property that was bought to settle the, the free people. And uh, of course, this Jamaica SS. Uh, you know what that is? That SS? SS. Seal and sign. Okay. Yeah, Jamaica seal and sign. So this is now, yeah, that's a seal. seal. Okay, and the yeah? signature. That's yeah. a seal there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have the signature, signature. there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So. It tells you the authenticity <laughs> of it. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see if we can tell you. So the deed of sale was in the, for the entire property, yeah. like the lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the entire property. Mm -hmm. So it's called an indenture. This indenture um, made the 10th day of May in the second year of the reign of our Sovereign Lady Victoria by the grace of God of the United Kingdom uh, yeah, the United Kingdom of the of the Parish, uh, yeah, but of what's it? It says in country of Commonwealth. In the uh, uh, Commonwealth. In the country of oh. I tell you what, mm -hmm. we have gone too far down here. That's why I can't make it out. Oh, we, yes, we have yes, skipped yes. a line. Kingdom, yes. We have yeah. skipped a line. So it's of uh, the United, of the United Kingdom. Kingdom of Great Britain mm. and Ireland, Queen, and of Jamaica, Lady Defender of the Faith under. Uh, it's under fourth. Under fourth, mm. and in the year of our Lord, our no one thousand eight hundred and thirty-nine. Mm -hmm. That's eighteen thirty-nine. Mm -hmm. Between Thomas Patrick Kidd, yes, mm -hmm. that was the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, oh. of the parish of uh, oh, of parish of Trelawney. Oh. This is Trelawney. Oh. The parish of Trelawney in the county of Cornwall mm. and island of ja and the yeah, island of Jamaica. Um, uh, um, this is what mentioned. And uh, and Mary, his wife, mm. of the one part, and the Reverend John Clark of the parish of St. Anne in the county of Middlesex. 
and island aforesaid Baptist missionary of the of the what is it is it of the other no. part it's the, of, of the other part um, uh, so whereas whereas the said Thomas Kidd Thomas Patrick Kidd uh, why have they Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fountain pen. Yes. Well, you know, and, and this is this is the important thing to to, to mem remember. Mm -hmm. Now, this now, 1839. You're talking about a hundred and hundred and. Thirty nine. Uh, that is sixty. They're talking about one hundred and eighty years. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. So now, do you think our writing today would be preserved like that? I doubt it. No, it wouldn't be. I doubt it. You see, because the, yeah. the pens that we are using now mm -hmm. just is on the surface. No, that's right. This is indelibly, very quickly, printed yeah. into the into the into the paper mm -hmm. and, and of course the type of paper that they had also mm -hmm. but of interest is the, is the writing as well yes, <laughs> you know yes. and although we can't make it out in some ways because of the jargon that they used mm -hmm. uh, because that's a problem you know the jargon that was used and, and if there were errors i don't see any correction no 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 <laughs> and, and all of this and all of what is being said here is simply that John Clark bought this property mm -hmm. from Thomas Kidd and his wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. Look at it. Look at the, that's look all at the that, size of it. That's all that is being said there. The size of the deed of sale. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And um, over on the other side now, we have, they have the seal and sign. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how it is. So this is Mary Kidd, uh, you know, her signature. The wife, uh, yeah, that's the wife. And um, this is, no. Well, I think this, this probably is Thomas. Yeah, because, um, well, hold on, no, no, no. It would be, Okay, let's see. Now, back to this now. This was how it was. They had oh, it in those okay. days. Yes. Go you know, down. like, um, <laughs> my experience in the police force mm -hmm. tells me that this was all there because we fall summons. All right. In uh, a certain way. Uh, 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 so this was, this was all, all right? All so right. here is it yes. then. Uh, Thomas Kidd is here, mm -hmm. is, uh, yeah, or, or Mary, Mary was here, yeah, said, yeah. yeah, Mary Kidd, and then um, down below, mm -hmm. and the other, These, I think, would be witnesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. but I'm, I'm looking for. For Thomas's own. Uh, oh, yeah. There is, there is Thomas. Oh, Thomas. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Uh, would be his by the down seal. there by yes. the seal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this goes. Uh, 
this. Okay, so down here, yes. they, they have yeah, both of their yes. signature with the seal on it. So, so these documents we try to preserve yes. uh, for posterity. Mm -hmm. the, the National Library wanted us to deposit these documents with them, mm -hmm. but we flatly refused. We mm -hmm. believe that they are the property of the Clarks yes. and Baptist Church. Yes. yes. Unfortunately, they were not very well preserved in those days, but since I came, and I remember on one occasion I got a man to do some cleaning up in a storeroom. But I told him that anything that he found that was written, he should not destroy without first consulting with me. And so this was how these documents yes. came to yes. hand. Yeah. Um, I remember the day when I found the, especially the survey map. Mm. It's almost like I was hysterical. Mm -hmm. I could mm. believe that we could come up with something that was so precious, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was so dear to, to us, yes, yes, dear to us. Yes. Because although we talk about 180 years, mm. but in some respects it has not been very long enough. It's true. Yeah? True. Because it's genuinely... When I came generation. here, yeah. I, I don't know if you knew Mary Chambers? I remember that. A lady that was living near to the Greaves. Near to Mr. Newman. Oh yes, Miss Mary, yes. Miss Mary. Yes, yes. Just yes. behind Senior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss Mary knew people who were actual slaves. Wow. Yes. Yes. Miss Mary knew people who were actual slaves. I remember in Anderson Town, where there is no church, there was a lady. Um, Donna, she was our Donnie. Mm -hmm. She knew a lady who was an actual slave. She remembered her as Miss Becky mm. and how Miss Becky sent her to K Valley to buy salt. Mm. And in those days, there was only one touch shop <laughs> in K Valley. <laughs> Yes, one shop. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, I say, although it, it is 180 years, but in some respect, it's not yes, so many. Yes. You see? My, my, my grandmother was born in 1907. 1907? The same year of the earthquake, uh, the Port That's Port right. Port Rale, the earthquake, yes. So, um, this is something that should, should grab us, mm -hmm. you know. Um, these were our foreparents, our great, great, great grandparents. That's right. You know, so it is something that should interest us and, and, and cause us to, to, you know, really think deeply, mm -hmm. you know, about. I would our, love to be able to trace the families. Yeah, of these people. <laughs> of these people. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And it can happen. Yeah. It can. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, where we are now is the new part of the Clarksville Baptist Church premises. And uh, all of this was done in my tenure, which, of course, has been 40 years. And I am saying this not in any way to gloat or to any way focus on myself. 
but I'm saying this because what we have experienced is a changing of times. Yes? When I came here, there was, and you would have known from your school days, mm -hmm. outside here, at the back, in fact, another one has been placed there in recent times. The, the bathroom. Uh, out. Out house. Out house. Yes. But that was, was where they were. Mm -hmm. And they were still being used. And they were acceptable in those times. 1977. Mm -hmm. right? But there came the time when it was now, they were now dated. So our first um, addition, yes, was. Um, okay, well, you probably went to the old side. Yeah. You can see better. For yeah. well, the first time, I'm sure. What's that? <laughs> there are two. Oh, that little extended place. Yes, yeah. extended place. Uh, and that's, that's a single one. The lower section was added later. But that was uh, the, 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 two, the two rooms that were made, uh, male and female. Um, toilets, Toilet, uh, right? Um, it became something that was in demand. Mm -hmm. There was no longer, we could no longer be satisfied to use outhouses, you know. Um, and then we, we advanced to the times when, you know, there was the demand for, for a, a, a more a social life with the church. Yeah, it's not just it's not just spiritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a, looking after the whole man, you know, about I, social. I heard about the banquet the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> socially, spiritually, <laughs> otherwise, you yes. know. So we decided that we were going to do this building. In fact, not this building, but downstairs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we are standing now on the upper level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we decided to do downstairs. We were going to put in a hall down there and a kitchen. Yes, and some more um, toilets. Mm -hmm. Because there was that demand for the social life of the people. It was expected that this would be, this area where the upper section is, mm -hmm. would become part of the parking mm. facility for the oh, church. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Because there was no thought of, um, of having a building up here. Mm -hmm. But then as we were in construction, we felt that there was no so much need yes. that the construction was done with a view to add another uh, upper level. Yes, yes. And so the upper level became a, a hall where we decided, well, even for, and we have used it for that purpose, if somebody wants it to be rented for mm. a reception right. or something yes, like that, we yes, would have yes, it rented. Yes. But it was for the church's use. Mm -hmm. And we have mm -hmm. used it. And you mentioned there the, the dinner that was put on by the ladies of the church <laughs> for the men yes, uh, yes. on Father's Day. It was quite an elaborate <laughs> kind of um, a surprise, surprise. Really a real surprise yes. to the men. But it all went down very well, mm -hmm. you know, and this is a kind of um, thing that we are, we are trying to get among the people, mm -hmm. to have among the people. And so it's important. And so what we have here I speak of it as something that is a united, um, a united front, yes, a united yes, yes, effort. Yes. Um, that walkway, for instance. The bridge. Yes. Okay. The bridge that joins the church. I remember distinctly coming out of church after service on a first Sunday, which is the only Sunday I'm here for, <laughs> for service anyway. But we were standing here, I was standing here with one of the deacons. Uh, he's not with us any longer, he's gone mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. 
But we were standing here and talking. And, and he said to me, you know, Pastor, you know, we could build a walkway across, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't have to get wet to go yeah. to that other building. Yeah. Yeah. And immediately, mm -hmm. The thing came to me, mm -hmm. yes, it's, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we, we have a builder in the church. We mm -hmm. called him right away, yes, and we, we put it to him. He was a little skeptical, mm -hmm. but I, I said to him, and that's Lumsel. Okay, yeah, yes. You know Lumsel. Yes, yes, yes. I said to him, all right, let's meet here tomorrow morning. And we appointed a time. And we got a couple others. And we met here and, and looked at it and talked about it. And a decision was made right there that it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And it's a and reality it today. Is. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the reality of it today. Yes. So, yes, to think, to think about the construction of a structure like this today. We, we wonder how it was possible. Mm. Uh, as a church, in and of ourselves, there was no way we could afford to build this. But members contacted their families and, um, you know, here, there, a little here, a little there, mm -hmm. and we were able to put things together and um, came up with the construction of this building. Yes. Yeah. And it has served the church well. It has served the community well. Because just Sunday here, there was an appreciation service for a, a teacher mm. um, at the, from the school. She retired. And they asked not only for the use of the hall, where they had their repast, but um, for the use of the church building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to house the, the, the function. Yeah. So this church has served the community well. And I say of this church and the others that I pastor, especially Clarksonville and uh, Mount Moriah and Tweedside, mm -hmm. that we are a community church. A man called me one day last week. He's from the Mount Moriah area. His mother has died. In actual fact, he's a pastor as well. <laughs> yes. But um, the church that his mother attended, it is envisioned that the funeral will not be suitably accommodated in, mm -hmm. in that building. So he called me to ask for the use of the church building at Mount Moriah, mm -hmm. which is a larger building and so on. And I said, yes, we are here for the community. That's right. Yes, because I know without a shadow of doubt that the church in Mount Moriah was the church, the first church in the entire community. Mm. And all the families mm -hmm. of Mount Moriah had their beginnings That's right. there. That's right. And it is the truth of Clarksville as well. So yes. that even if you were not churched here, as long as you were born in this area, area. Yes. this church accommodated you in school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. along with that statement that was seen at, at the welcome sign, in that same year, at that, in that same meeting where that statement was made, was the proposing of the building of this, this actual building, mm -hmm. yes, in 1895. And the dimension of the building is mentioned in the minutes book. And also that there would be a schoolroom below yes so that school room was the school that you attended that's right <laughs> <laughs> you see up to that time yes. and so yes. from from all of that time up to 1960 
seven was it yeah yeah about 67 i think so. it was 1967 yeah, when, we move when you moved to that the new school mm -hmm. the new government school but the mm -hmm. school was housed at this baptist church building all these years that's right you see so it's a community um uh, building and all the families of this community have their beginnings yes. Yes. at this place either at school or at church yeah so we have to operate in in, in a different light we can't mm -hmm. be like others <laughs> yes, because we feel yes. ob obligated to yes. the the people of the community yes. there was a time uh, sadly so that a decision was taken here insofar as funerals are concerned that um it would only be you know members, members. Mm -hmm. sunday school attendants uh, members of the security forces and so on who would be allowed funeral mm -hmm. at the church building i remember when the decision was taken by the members because i try to tell myself that they are the ones <laughs> that run this thing, not I. Yeah. When the decision was taken, I expressed, the minutes will show, I expressed my dissatisfaction mm. with the decision. But I said, since you have said, yeah, let it be. Mm. But I knew what was going to happen. And it did happen. Because it came to the time when their family members died <laughs> and, <they're not> members. <laughs> and, and they are not members <laughs> and they wanted the funeral to be held but it came to a head when i remember specifically one man died i already mentioned his name but he died this man wasn't a member of the church but he was regular he was more regular in attendance than many church members <laughs> i say that without fear I made plans for his funeral in this church building without consultation with anybody mm. because I knew what I was going to do. And so the funeral came and went. After the funeral, I called a members meeting. I said to them, I believe you are ready now to talk about who you want to be churched in the church building. <laughs> yes. Because nobody said anything, not the deacons, not any of the officers, mm -hmm. no member said anything to me about this man who was never, not a mm -hmm. member. And so, yes, they were ready. And when I put it to them, what had happened over the period of time since that decision was made, everybody agreed that, yes, it was time to change yes. that decision. Yes. And so now it's wide open. I am here as pastor, and as long as I feel um, comfortable to have the funeral of anybody, that's what it is. Yes. Yes. Because, again, I say we are indebted to all the families of this community mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they all had their beginnings here. That's right. And so the, we can't be discriminated. Yeah, yes. We can't be discriminated yes. uh, discriminatory mm -hmm. um, about these things. Yeah. Well sir, I think we're gonna have to because yeah. <laughs> you know, I what is interesting also is that parsonage up there. Okay. Mm. And I don't think at this hour <laughs> we can do that. So we have, no, a, we have to squeeze it some other, yeah, other yeah. time. Yeah. Because, believe it or not, the, the parsonage is, mm -hmm. is older than the, the, church, the church building here. Really? In, oh, yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, so you will catch mm. that. Um, you have that 1895 yeah. sign around here? Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will be getting at you. Oh. Uh, this stone. Mm. goes with the with what was in that minute's book and maybe tomorrow you'll get that better yes but the um, 
and that obliterated um, name down the bottom mm -hmm. is Mrs. Mrs. G. E. Henderson. Okay. Henderson. Henderson. Yeah, because um, this this was the 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 wife of another Baptist uh, minister. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, they were contemporary with um, the Reverend Head, mm -hmm. who was the pastor of the church at the time when okay. this this building was mm. under construction. So they would be what now um, contributors to the building of the church, or what? Um, I think they would have been, you know, in those days they had what they call a stone laying ceremony. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So behind that stone. Mm is a document, an actual document mm. Mm. that was written mm -hmm. and placed in there. Mm. Yeah. So at the stone laying ceremony, um, other ministers would have been invited. Yes. And um, so the Reverend Head, uh, Reverend Henderson, who was a minister, I can't, um, I think he was a minister at the Brownstone Church in those days. Okay. Yes, I recall he was a minister. And so his wife was the one who was responsible for okay. placing, for placing that, that document yes. in that um, wow. in that um, stone. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they had it in those mm -hmm. days. Yeah. But so, just to back up and to say to you, our history goes back to eighteen thirty eight. Yes, yes. Well, the Magic. actual formation of the church must have been in eighteen thirty eight. Mm -hmm. The coming together of the church. Yes. The documents that you saw they dated back to eighteen thirty nine. Mm -hmm. So now eighteen thirty eight, year of full emancipation, mm -hmm. where the people were settled here, so they would have been gathering yes. as a people, as a yes. church. Yes. All right? So mm. what is it? Where were they meeting? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, well, yeah, there must be a place. This present building was the third building mm -hmm. for the church. On the same spot? Yes. Um, in the minutes, it, it is stated that the first building mm -hmm. was a touch, a touch booth. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And then the other building was a, a wall, you know, um, and of course, building today as it is, yes. made of stone mm -hmm. and um, and um, and earth, mm -hmm. the same red earth, yes, and limestone, mm -hmm. liquefied limestone mm -hmm. mixed with the <laughs> with the earth. Mm -hmm. And I'm also told that molasses, molasses was included in it. Wow. So both the molasses and the lime became the binding yes, agent yes. for the for wow. the for the stones. Wow. And um, after a hundred and fifteen years <laughs> still so so, still solid. Still solid. But do you have any idea what would be in the document? No, behind in the document, there? yeah, is the same statement mm -hmm. that we read. Okay, at the, at the, at the welcome yes. sign. Yes, yes. More than that, of yes. course, but that the same statement mm -hmm. that is in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. History. Yeah. Mm. Stone. And dirt. Yeah. Mm. And these no, are. Is. It's an eighteen-inch thick wall. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yes. Wow! It's yeah. kind of solid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are times when we we have little protruding of the the earth. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm. And by oh. the way, I. <laughs> Coming back to this building, the new building. The new building. You will notice that this building is not painted on the outside. Right, right. I noticed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was purposely done. Mm. The, uh, the first addition that was done 
Mm -hmm. See the the jointing of yes. the block? Oh, yes. Just oh, like yes. this building? Oh, yes. Yes. To give and you that age kind of look. Yes. Yeah. And to, to, to yeah, well, mm -hmm. simply mm -hmm. to match it with yeah, that. Yeah, match with that. All right. The same color. Okay. Now, on that side. you don't, as far as I'm concerned, I'm sure there would be people who would love to have that painted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But even before it was finished, I said, the outside of this, this was one thing I could tell you that I dictated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my terms. <laughs> it should not be painted. Yes. The moment you put paint on that, somebody is going to say the church not look good. And they're going to start on that. You're right. And as far as you I'm concerned, you mess don't touch you this with any paint. That's right. You mess it up when you touch it True. with paint. True. The beauty of it mm. is that aged look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember when we were celebrating our 150th anniversary in 1990, we had a photographer who came from Maypen to do some photographs. Mm -hmm. And when I turned up in Maypen at his studio, a photograph of the officers was enlarged mm -hmm. and in his studio, posted in his studio. Mm -hmm. But he said to me, that, that picture of the officers was taken against the background mm. of the church building. Mm, of yeah. this church? Yes. Uh -huh. You know what he said to me? He said, this photograph is not there because of the people. <laughs> it is there because of the background. Yeah. Because it showed the, the rugged yes. look yes. and yes. some areas of the tarnished mm -hmm. stone, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> that was what was shown. <laughs> but to him, yes. and to many people like him, that, that's a beauty. Mm -hmm. That's a beauty, you know. So uh, I, I determined that, no, we don't, we don't touch it. this don't place with any, any, any paint. Yeah. You lose it. And so um, here is something. Growing out of these, um, these parts mm -hmm. are these plants. We didn't plant these, you know. Mm. They just grow. They just grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, two, a week ago, Sam was looking at them and said, well, we need to get rid I said, no, if they grow in the wall, yes. fine, let's get rid of them because eventually they will, you know, yeah, they are you pull the earth, ball, yeah. pull the earth yeah. out, you know. But we don't want that. Mm -hmm. But as long as they are down there, it's part of the beauty as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned, you know. And then in the midst of this is this plant mm -hmm. which I knew from my district has searched my heart. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I came to Clarksonville and and it became known to me as a mall hole mall oh, hole mall hole mall hole bush. Mall hole bush. Yeah. But search me heart mm -hmm. and this is this is part of my my coming to terms with with history and our forebears. Uh, these plants were named mm -hmm. by them. Yes. Now, if something is named Search Me Heart, why would it be named Search Me Heart? Mm. It has to do with something yes, to something do with the heart. The heart. Yes. Yeah? Yes. So we have strong back. Eh? Mm -hmm. We have fall down bush. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Hmm. We have fever grass. Mm -hmm. You name it. Yes. So right, because it's related to the yes, illness. Yes, yeah. to the illness. Yes. And it's easy for us to identify them. That's right. For that That's purpose. Right. Now, <laughs> I, I for one, you know, I, I am sold to these things. Mm. Yeah. Because I am absolutely sure that my forebears experimented on these things. Oh yes. Oh, yes. And have bequeathed them to us. Yeah? And I consider myself somebody that would be ungrateful 
if they have gone through all the processes to bequeath these things to us, and we just forsake them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So you know, that's what's happening with the next generation, yeah. the younger generation yes. now that everything is lost. Yeah. So I still yeah. drink my strong back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, my father was a hard working farmer. Every evening, almost every evening, he'd come home with his knapsack on his shoulder, mm -hmm. knapsack on his shoulder. He would have a little search me heart in it. And after dinner, we have to boil in search me heart. Yes, sir. You know. Um, why should I forsake him? Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. So, I've heard testimonies being given about the search me heart, of the help that it has been. Yes. So, we have the things right here with us. And we have just ungratefully forsaken them. Yes. <laughs> and yes. we go to the <laughs> doctors. <laughs> the doctor with the Sorry, doctors. Pharmaceutical but chemical. you go there and you spend all this money, you spend all this money, mm. and you get some medication, which ultimately is not going to help mm. you. And these things mm. were preserved and bequeathed yes. to us. Yes. And we are forsaking them. Well, mm. I I will I will I will <laughs> live with them. Yes. Yeah, Marky, yeah. it was it was good talking to you. Likewise, um, Pastor. We um, 